You're watching Keeping Up With NZ.com. My new show is called Mr. Adventure, and it's a selection of adventure stories told by me, uh, mixed in with a whole realm full of stand-up, and I try and have a loose narrative running through. Don't want to give too much away, but uh, there's definitely physicality, mist, and gorilla impressions. My first routine, that's going back a bit, I think around about 95, when uh, Mike King and Andrew Clay came to town. I was in Christchurch. There was an ad in the paper, uh, open spot available with pro comics. Uh, so I was at university, possibly my, I think my first year at university. And um, I rocked on in there and did some Frank Spencer impressions, uh, which went okay. Um, they're kind of, mm, <coughs> bitty. Oh, the cat's done a whoopsie on the carpet. <coughs> that sort of thing. Probably not relevant now, but anyone of my age group and older, that's, uh, that's a funny bone tickler. And also I did this thing about um, fishing. I remember quite clearly I, uh, my first joke was about uh, how exciting fishing is. Uh, it was kind of an ironic thing. The most exciting part about fishing was the casting. <laughs> you know, I do this big physicality of that and then boop, and then how exciting with the landing and then woohoo. And then I just stand there for a minute doing absolutely nothing. And so it was kind of a, it was sort of anti-comedy in the end, but uh, yeah, a couple of chuckles. Always been sort of just outside the box really with, with comedy, still trying to get inside it, but making the best of being just on the outside of it. Uh, I don't really know any pub jokes, but I do have a couple of my own jokes, or I, I guess you could call joke jokes. Uh, and one that comes to mind is I used to go out with a girl that uh, was into self-harm. So uh, I didn't know what to get her for her birthday. I just went out and bought her a hammer. I said, there you go, love. Knock yourself out. Um, she did. And uh, yeah, I had to take the hammer back in the end. Uh, for me, superstition doesn't really come into it. I'll wear anything, you know, I'll perform any day, you know, I mean, I won't perform under a ladder, um, but I don't really have any weird ticks or routines I go through before I hit the stage. There's nothing spooky. I just, um, I used to do a thing where I look up at the comedy gods and go, come on guys, please be with me on this one. But um, I've stopped doing that now. I think I've just got too old. Now I just sort of have a cup of tea and jump out there and see what comes out. Uh, so go to reesdarby.com to find all the details of my new show. It's a nationwide tour, 17 cities, well, towns, villages. I mean, we don't really have that many cities, but um, yeah, get in there because tickets are going quick and hopefully I'm coming to a town near you. Oh, hello, I'm Jared Christmas and you're watching Keeping Up With NZ.com forward slash what's happening New Zealand hyphen New Zealand it's happening it's going on dot whoa this is hap this, what's the haps it's the DL uh, my show is called snafu and the title's got nothing to do with the show uh, I've just always liked the word acronym snafu uh, but it's uh, lots of stories peppered with jokes um, Bit of bit of improv, bit of banter, um, but ultimately good times. My first routine uh, was about uh, if you got the propeller from an aeroplane uh, bent over and put it up your bum, put your arms out, would you fly? And then I acted it out. I'm okay with black cats. I've got something that my dad used to always do, like we'd go to, uh, when we were growing up, if we went to a restaurant that had really bad service, usually Cobb & Co, um, my dad would call the waiter over and say, excuse me, can I talk to Kermit, please? And the waiter would be like, what? Kermit doesn't work here. And my dad would go, well, who's running this Muppet show? <laughs> no, just be true to yourself. Don't, don't steal other people's shit. Don't be a dick. 
It's a lot of don'ts. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. yeah? Do yeah. what you find funny. Do what you find funny. I don't know where these answers are coming from. <laughs>Do I have a favourite Kiwi comedian? Yeah. Um, not really. There's some, most of them I put up with. Um, hold on. I'm just waiting for inspiration on who my favourite Kiwi might be. Rhys Darby. Rhys, Rhys, Rhys. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rhys Darby, but only if he's suffering from emphysema. <laughs>